All right, so let's get started making the game in Scratch. So we will create a new game. And so we will not need this cat, so I will delete it. All right. And we will start with making the backgrounds. So here I made an overview. So we will have four backgrounds. This one for the first scene, this one for the second scene where we give the explanation, this one for the third scene and this one for the fourth scene. So to give the overview when the game starts we will show this background and a button. When we click on that button we get the explanation. Then after a few seconds it goes to the game itself where there are mouses, uh, sorry, mice appearing at the bottom. And then when the game is over, we get game over and we get a restart button. And if we click on the restart, we go back to the explanation. So let's get started. Um, let's click on this background, your backdrops. And let's make a black Rectangle, this background, like this, black, and let's add the sprite of mouse, like this, um, let's call it mouse, let's go to costumes, we only need the top one, like this, it's, oh sorry, we go to the pointer, we select it, we turn it, we, all these parts we don't need, so we only select this, we make it bigger, like this. This will be our mouse sprite, but we will copy, so we select it, we click on copy, and we will copy the mouse also on the backdrop. So I will this mouse, I will drag it away for a bit. Oh, I will not show it, I will click here. So we don't get confused with this, this one. So we go to the background and we paste. So now this illustration is part of the background, the backdrop. So copy it again, paste. Paste. This and we will add some text. So the layout here is it says catch the mice. So we add the text catch the mice. We want the font to be marker. The fill we will make it pink and click here and we make it bigger and then we will make this little 3d effect and we will do this by copying and pasting and changing the color a little bit for example this one is a little bit darker then we make it one, yeah, here, back, like this. Then we get a little effect. And then we will select both. So we go with the arrow to the bottom one. We press shift, top one, and we click group. Now it's one single one. We put it here. Then you are going to add a white cat, so we click here, click cat, this one, we go to the costumes, we select it, copy, and then here we paste it, and we put it here, 
we can delete these sprites. Okay, go back to the backdrop and we will make the mouse white. So how will we do that? We will zoom in and we select everything and we make it white so saturation then here the ears but the ears we see there are multiple colors that's because it's grouped we need to ungroup so that we can really select this part and we'll make it a bit spacey cat so 83 75 89 and here we do the same and we go to 83 75 89 okay here we click to zoom to 100%. We um, okay. We have to select the cat, but that's hard because if we just click, then also the background might move. So I will move this up for a little while. We select everything here. I click on group. I put this back. Now I can just click on this. This is easier and I, oh, I will turn it a bit. Yeah, that's the background I want. So I have my start. I will name the costume here start. The start background or backdrop, however you want to name it. Um, we will add another one. So we can duplicate this one. We right click on start, duplicate, and we name it um, explain for the explanation. We will delete all these parts. See, because here we still have the start. Here we have to explain now. Let's see. Ah, oh, no, we want two mouses. So go back the uh, two mice so we go back here click on copy click here paste another time paste and feel free to make the decoration however you want this is just the way I decided to make it for myself and then we click here text the fill is white the font pixel And we start typing check the mouse check the cat it's hungry so hungry help check to catch the mice exclamation Go to the arrow, we make it a bit bigger. Then, then we will add another backdrop, an existing one here from Authors. We will choose the Night City and we will rename it to Play. Voila. And then the last one, the last one will be where we show Game Over. So, this is really similar to the second one. So we'll duplicate this one, drag it down, then we will call this one game over, and then that's exactly what we will tell here. So we change this text to game over, and we will make it a bit bigger like this. And we will copy this, paste it, and move it a bit on the top. Then we will select the bottom one, like this, and we change the fill to red. Oh, selected the wrong one, so I will send this one backwards, okay. So this looks quite cool, I like it. All these effects are optional. If you think this is difficult, just make it more simple. Like just write 
came over without the effect, for example. Here, I will group this and move it a bit. But so now we have our backgrounds. Let's add our sprites. So we have the most sprite already. But we will also make another sprite. And the other sprite will be button. So because we want this button and this button. But we will make it both in the same sprite, but we will change the costumes. Because the code, we want the code to be pretty much the same. So, new sprite paint, we will make the rectangle and we add the text in pixel in black. Name it start. We'll make it a bit bigger. Down. Okay. Okay, I like this. You name it start. And then we yeah, add a second, or we will copy this one, duplicate. We call it restart. We will change the text to Restarts. We will see if it fits inside the button. Yes, it's okay. And here at the border, we will make it red. Like this. So we have starts and restarts. So that's okay. And this sprite, we name it button. Voila. Start. Restart. Okay. We will go to the start and we'll move it here. This. Let's we'll change the size to oh, sorry, seventy. This fifty. Like this. Okay. So now we have all the elements we need, all the sprites and all the backgrounds. Maybe we can already make this variable that we will be using. So my Scott, so we go to variables. I will rename this one to my Scott. Then if we click here, we see we will have this variable. Okay. So for me the first part is quite finished, or maybe we can add the sound, the background sound. So we'll click here to backdrops. So we we click on the stage, right? And then we remove this sound, and we will add another one, a loop. So the looping sounds are sounds that, if they are repeating, that they sound nice. They sound like one continuous thing. And at the loops, here we have video game. So we choose this one. And we will name it background. So now we really have all the elements to make the game. So that's for the first part. Okay, for the second part, um, we will start with the start screen. So, okay, for the second part, we will start with the, with making the start screen. So we will go here to stage and we click on code we'll go to events when the green flag is clicked then we will save at the looks switch backdrop to start and then here at the button we will say sorry we will say events when this sprite is clicked then we will send a message so we put broadcast a message and the message will be start Voila. Okay. and then 
we will do when this sprite is clicked so start happens and when start happens then this one should disappear and change to the next background so we will do this here at the stage we will say when I receive start the looks switch backdrop to explain and here for the button we need to say when the sprite is clicked it needs to hide itself so let's see if this works okay start and it goes to the next we stop it start again ah no we also need to say here when the game starts so when the flag is clicked then the looks show okay now we can try again start the game start stop the game start the game and it's here again so this is going smooth um, also when the game is started so at the stage we will put that when the game is started we will start the background music so you say forever and to keep playing the, this background sound um, forever play sound background so now we can hear that this background sound is playing throughout the game until we stop it so actually that's it for the first part we already got started now one thing i want to add is that this code of playing this the background sound we could also have put it inside this button or if you want inside this sprite inside the mouse the reason i put it here is because it's easier it's more logic it makes more sense if you put it in the stage because the background sounds it reflects the whole game so whenever you put blocks somewhere next to just making the game behave like you want you should also think what's the most what's the clearest way um, if a background sound makes sense for the whole game then put the block at the stage level at the whole game so that's how I reason about it same about um, here the button you say when the sprite is clicked broadcast starts and then here if it receives starts switch the backdrop to explain you could also have just put here switch the backdrop to explain this would have worked too but again it's easier to to see when you go to the stage ah, this is what happens when the game is started this is uh, like this has happened when the game here has launched this is what happens when the user starts the game so if we continue to build our game this way it will be easier to understand than if we would put logic distributed over many sprites we need to give our game a name so um, catch the mice or with capitals here and then we file we save it okay so this is for the for the first part of the game so let's now go to the second part 